Hi, I'm Kyle. Welcome to Talking Serpents. Today we're going to be talking about reptile enclosure materials like wood versus plastic versus glass. Alright, we're going to start with the glass enclosures because they're pretty common. Um, pros of a glass enclosure. And they're pretty cheap. This is a tank on. Um, I think you can get these at like Petco, PetSmart for like probably 15, 20 bucks with the screen top and the clips and everything. Um, probably like a 40 gallon breeder, which is 36 by I think 18 deep. And these are like, they're about like 100 bucks. So they're pretty cheap and you can get them out pretty much anywhere. Um, I guess another pro would be if you wanted like a display enclosure like, like this, you can see pretty much all the way around it if you like that. Um, that's pretty much all I have for pros. Uh, cons, mm, the biggest issue is scientific fact that heat rises in all your heat, no matter if you have it on a heat pad or um, a heat bulb on top, it's literally going to go right out the screen top. No matter if you have whatever on top of you, you have a, a towel or I don't know what else you put up there, but books. Yeah, books, sure. <laughs> um, no matter what, your heat and your humidity are really just going to walk right out the enclosure. And if I feel this right now, it, it moves. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it feels pretty cold. Um, so they don't retain heat well, like, at all. <laughs> also, um, I know, I'm not sure about all reptiles, but snakes especially, they don't really, if I took the screen top off, that my snake might feel timid if I'm trying to come out from the top of them, because I might, I might look like a predator in his eyes. Um, that's why we prefer front sliding glass doors. Mm. What else? Our, we had a 40 gallon breeder and it was on a stand probably about this high and when it was the enclosure about that high. So I had a step stool and every time I got my snake out I had to put the step stool out. So it was kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't really care for that. Um, what else? What else? Um, the majority of people, including me, when I had my glass enclosure, I had heat bulb on top of the dome, of course, and uh, I didn't secure it, I just kind of set it on there. And I always wondered and worried, what if there was an earthquake? What would I do? <laughs> Living in California, that's a big worry. Yeah. I know there's um, clamp-on pieces and you, you can you know, put the, uh, the dome someplace else. I mean, there's like structures and stuff that are next to your enclosure, but the majority of people, including myself, I put them on top when I use them, but I don't use them anymore. Um, I mean, if there was an earthquake and then fell off because it was a pretty powerful earthquake, like, it could potentially start a fire. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to put myself in that position or even be worried to think that way. Um, and all in all, in the end of the day, um, this is an aquarium. It's not a reptile enclosure. You buy this to put fish in. Fish, not snakes. Well, look at the fish. That's not, yes, yeah, this, uh, this is a snake. It's not fish. All right, now we're gonna talk about plastic tubs. Um, pros and cons, <laughs> the, the biggest pro is uh, you can hold heat and humidity really well in these. Uh, I used to have like a, a heat pad that I put on the right side, and it would hold heat and humidity pretty pretty well. I was pretty satisfied with it. Um, another pro, they're freaking cheap. I think this is a 41 quart. I probably got the tub and the lid of probably like a Walmart, probably like 10, 15 bucks. So that's a pretty big pro if you're worried about cost. Um, you can put them in. You, you, they, 
small, they're stackable. A lot of people make like uh, um, racks, like snake racks with them. So for breeding purposes, they're very useful. Um, what else? What else? Uh, the reptile can feel pretty secure. I mean, this is like a, I think like a milky. So they can't necessarily see out that well. Your, I would only assume that your reptile will feel more secure that way. Okay, clones. Um, well, for me, it's not aesthetically pleasing. I don't think that really looks good at all. It works good, but it doesn't look good. Um, you can't put a light in them. So if you have lizards, um, most lizards need UVB. And I don't know how you'd be giving your lizard UVB through a plastic tub. I'm sure there's a way, but... Yeah, I don't know. The one. Um, they're limited to space. That you can only buy such a big tub before, you know, your reptile outgrows it. Like, I have a reticulated python and a uh, full-size boa, and that's just not going to work in a tub. It'll never work out when it's an adult, you know? So, yeah, I guess you're limited by space. Um, and I guess, in the end, uh, it's just, uh, I feel like this is what it is. And, you know, your reptile is... Uh, it's not leftovers. It's a, it's an animal, and you should enjoy it and watch it and study it. <laughs> so don't treat it like it's leftovers. <laughs> Plastic enclosures. We don't have any here, for example, so we're gonna put a picture up right here. Yeah. Um, pros and cons with them is uh, they hold heat and humidity really well. Uh, also, they look better than your plastic tubs that we just showed you. Though they're not a look that I like, to me they're very plain, it's almost like a melanin enclosure kind of look. Um, but you can see in them, unlike the plastic tubs, and they have a better aesthetic look than the plastic tubs. The only major con that I have against them is that they're really expensive. I think like a 40 breeder sized one was about $280, $300, so they get really expensive. And then you have to pay for shipping, which can be pretty expensive. I can only assume uh, the weight of it and as well as the size probably about, you know, 100 bucks, unfortunately. Okay, and last we're going to talk about wood enclosures, which is my personal favorite. Um, we built this one about six months ago, which is an eight foot wide, two feet deep, it's a double stack, so the lower one is eight foot by two foot, and the upper one is eight foot by two foot, but I put a wall in between these two to section it off, so I have two separate enclosures, which is smaller snakes. Um, pros and cons of wood. Um, my biggest reason is the heat and the humidity. Uh, if it's like 35, 40 degrees out, um, Really, the only thing I have to do to keep this enclosure at um, an 85 degree ambient temperature around this, in the center of the enclosure is this 40 watt bulb. That's it. There's no heat pads, no other heat emitters in there. Just a 40 watt bulb, and it'll hold perfect temperature all winter long. Um, as far as humidity, I have a moss bowl underneath uh, the heat bulb. And that's one thing I've learned over the years. That'll make keeping humidity in, uh, it'll make it perfect. Literally it'll hold uh, between 40 and 60% for five days. I don't have to uh, go in there and miss the enclosure twice a day or every other day. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> um, why I prefer these more than any other material. Um, for me, I think that you can do a lot more with wood. Like this is, like the outside of this is stained 
Um, we used American walnut on it, and you can do whatever stain you'd like, as long as you don't put the stain inside the enclosure. Um, on this enclosure, we used uh, laminate tiles to go on the back walls and on the bottom. Okay, another uh, pro would definitely be uh, custom sizes. You can't really do custom sizes so much with any other material. That's my biggest pro as well. Um, what else? I think they look aesthetically pleasing. You could definitely do quite a bit more um, as far as designing. And cons? I don't really have too many cons. I'd say that, that they're a bit more expensive than glass. They're slightly cheaper than plastic enclosures. So, that's the only con I have. And that's why it's my favorite. Go follow us on Instagram at Talking Serpents. Also, subscribe for more and give this one a thumbs up. Go check out our old video that we did last week. And our star of the show today was Tweaker. She's my uh, albino snow corn snake. Have a great day.